which tour is it? This is like the, what that used to be, the uh, travel bus, flicks bus, mega bus, bolt bus area of all the tours at once. Then we head on over to uh, meeting point where all of the buses from this morning's pickup, they meet up and they exchange passengers because all of you guys are going somewhere that's not with me. Uh, so, after our next pickup spot, which is just a minute away, I'll go over the list and tell you guys the number of your bus that you will have to go to at the meeting. This is the Great Bus Exchange onto 196. There will be more, so as much of a puzzle as this. That will be uh, me dropping you off. So we'll go through that list at the end of the tour. Don't worry. We're going to pass by a Fiat Playoku. Does that name mean anything to you? Yeah. yeah. How do you remember? That's a volcano that erupted in 2010, uh, disrupting air traffic and the speech of newsreaders, and uh, survived the, the dark ages of uh, an ancient Greek explorer by the name of Pythias, who makes it to a mysterious northern island that he calls Thule, or sorry, it's called Thule in English, he writes T-H-U-L-E, but we don't know oh, which, and found Iceland, things, or snowland I should say, things you need to do without a compass. Uh, now I'll tell you in a minute how that went down, but first have a look on the left hand side. You see this uh, looks like a cloud factory, but do you know what it actually is? Hot springs? Louder please. Hot springs? Hot springs? Uh, hot springs, yes, but this is a whole power plant built around it. Huh? This is the largest geothermal power plant of all of Iceland. And it's built on top of an active volcano, no eruption here. You feel like fighting a uh, feud all the time. So instead of uh, yeah, living the Viking life, we just thought, let's go to this uh, peaceful new land. It may be difficult, but uh, we'll try and settle it anyway and be away from all the violence. So um, before I tell you more about that, have a look to the left. Try to spot all these steam columns rising from the hills. There are so two of the slaves, Karli and Bifet, who are their names. And these two men had to make their way through marshland, over cliffs, over black sand. A uh, very difficult track. Oh. 
Alan. Oh, yeah, because Black my photo. Oh, Whoa. There she is. Red curtains, Twin Peaks. This is wild. Wild. Mm -hmm. This museum is Filming some video here. We are on the black sand. can't walk on it we would need crampons which are not a form of cramps and tampons they're kind of like cleats but where 
the base of your shoe is blades that would literally cut your skin or, or scrape a floor if you walked on them. Um, and we don't have those, so we'll go up there, but not quite uh, on it. Here that it was. At the beach? At the beach. Totes. Right. Yeah, there's even some sun coming out. There it is. Hi, Glacier, 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 Glacier. So we were asking, there's the glacier now and then one more waterfall. Boaz was saying, maybe we'll get back early in a little bit time for a nap before we go right back on out for the Northern Lights. Woo. Final stretch. Home stretch. Sleep deprived. I am Jerry Deprive. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Happy anniversary, plus one. I love you. There's a little baby glacier peeking through, too. Um, he told us that one of the glaciers was actually still growing into the 90s, even though most of them were shrinking. Um, I, want, I think it's this one. Wow, this is such a pretty shot. Breakaway glaciers. So I was just marveling that I can't really believe what I'm looking at. And Bo was just like, what do you mean? And I was like, I've just never seen anything like this before. The mountains are like mossy, but cliffy and like sharp. And then there's the, the beautiful sort of dirty ice or, uh, uh, glacier ice chunks, like with the black stripes in the middle of it. It's kind of like, like slush. It's kind of like, it's a little bit like an alien world. Like it just, I've just never seen anything like it. Wow. I'm kind of dumbstruck gobsmacked we just interviewed someone who did a crampon excursion basically like trekking up that and then she said there was a hole in the middle that they had dug and you could sort of lean back into it she said it was terrifying wow oh wow oh wow oh wow What were the pictures that the guy took? Pretty good. I just think the contrast of that glacier and the mountain on top of that, the green, spectacular, right? Yeah. I want to see people on the mountain. Oh, wait, I think I'm seeing There's some. Are there people on the mountain? Yes. Look at my camera. Hey, back up oh, I see, I see. Yeah. I don't want it too close to my face, so I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> New York. But actually, quite no mountains, but a lot of trails in New Jersey and well, above New York. York. I see a fish there. Points of interest. It really doesn't do it justice, guys. It's just so vast. Like there's people on there. I think I see my dad. It's so vast. And like, really like... Ah. We're doing a quick walk down.
Okay. I want to go to the water. It's just not much further at all. went down here. But why let me do it? I love it's so brilliant white like at the bottom. It's like you see that little ice thing on the water? You get it? Icy patch. Where? Right right in front. Oh yeah. Icy patch. Icy patch. Okay, we don't want to make okay let's out. go. See, that's all I wanted. Okay, I got to introduce you. These two are Martina. Hello. And Tomas. Hi, Tomas. Hi, Martina. They are both from Italy. Wonderful. And they are sitting next to me. Come to study here. Yes. But then I decided to study law. So. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, it's for the future better to study in Italy very, very different. It's uh, like uh, the government and yeah. the other thing. Out of breath from that. Yeah. We gotta go, babe. They don't care, just that over oh, um that we're uh, not any further. They care that we're not at the bus. That's how long it's supposed to take. Boys, are they brother, sister, boyfriend, girlfriend? Outrageous. Endorphins. Just incomparable. Incomparable. Indescribable. I need a coffee. So this is amazing. And we're told that if we want, we can walk even past these ones all the way down there. Keep, keep going where all those people are, where all those people are. And there's two more waterfalls hidden in a cave, maybe. So I'm a little torn. First of all, that's totally beautiful, okay? Then there's even some more over there, like by his hat. But, oh, I already said this. We could hightail it, like, book, all the way to the end. Like, only about 10 minutes, he says. And then, it's still not a sure thing, because if there might be people... There's only a few like step stones, one at a time. You can go in the cave, no, and if it's back. if it's packed, you can't make it. But it might not be packed, and you can see it. But I'm just out of gas. I I just want to like putz around and just marvel at that. That's it. <laughs> so like level one. I'm not leveling up to level two or three. I mean, we're not even done for day. <laughs> Oh. 
If you know, you know. This way. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. You see a rainbow. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, walk, up, we walk up a little bit more. Right now. We'll get the name. I don't. I really don't know, actually. It's a beautiful waterfall. There we go. Yay! I should have put my rain pants on. I should have put my rain pants on. Because he starts hearing and seeing things. He sees a fox run by and he thinks, oh no, it wants to drink my blood. And then he hears it. Ich bin der Sonne, 